Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 5 Royal. Today we have the day off and I guess we're probably going to be hanging out with Ryuji. Um, he wanted to hang out with us. I'm assuming that... Oh, he wanted to get a ramen, right? So yeah, we're definitely going to be getting a rank up with his... <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting allowance, so thanks, sure. Oh, oh, hey, wait! Naoto! The original Genetic Prince was Naoto Shiragani, but people are excited about this new one. My daughter's... Oh. Psh. Naoto's the only detective prince. But anyways, okay, let's leave. And I guess hang out with... Ryuji. Let's try and look at this. So... Yeah, him. Can we hang out with the Doctor of Death? Proficiency batting cages. Okay. It doesn't look like we can hang out with Doctor of Death. Let's teleport over to wherever the hell Ryuji is. Uh, who should I spend time? Yeah, Arcade. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hey. We, yeah, I know, be Kamashita. Dude, I really want to talk or more, or I guess, like, vent. You want to grab some ramen? I'll show you my go-to place. Uh, sure. It's kind of far, but it's totally worth. The flavor's out of this world. Anyways, it's in Ogi Kubo. So, sure, okay, sure. So let's take the train over there. Uh, a quiet and convenient re uh, residential district famous for its ramen. Lip smacking good ramen. The deep flavor of old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. All right. I mean, fair enough. There are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Commandants will each have their own favorite hangout spots. If you go there with them, your bomb will grow even deeper than it normally would. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidants invite you there, or by reading about them in books. Try to find as many as you can. <laughs> oh, I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. That sounds so weird. Sweat dripping over my face. What the hell? This shit's the best, man. Ramen for life. Or is life. Light soup like this is really really gets your body going after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice, and... Uh, I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times. But for some reason, it does, don't look like he's getting along with the others. Uh, That's your running mate, right? Are you worried about him? Yeah, kind of. I've been thinking about what he said, about the whole track team, how the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita's shit, and how it, I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. They ain't really a place for outcasts like us. I should know. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want them ending up like me. Uh, it's not so bad. I know how you feel, but you're doing great. You know what? Yeah, you're doing great, Ryuji. You know what? You're right. You get like a demon you can summon. It's awesome. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I never met you guys if it wasn't if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun hanging out with you guys. It's so freaking cool. What, me and An? I feel like my... Or, like, me and Morgan. I think, you, I think you're talking about me and An. Maybe they word it that way so, like, if we did this later, there would be more people he's talking about, I guess? All right. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. I thought I'd probably mess it up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? See ya. Later. Uh, Tokyo Tourist. Sure, why not? Uh, the train stopped. Woo. Another minister has resigned. Woohoo! How stupid do you have to be to commit adultery? 
Agreed. Speaking of which, I'm not sure if I'm going to be dating everyone. I was asked this before, and I was like, yeah, probably. I did say, I, I think I said this, that if I ever replayed the game, I would see what the friendship routes were for some of the people that I was dating, and date the ones that I weren't able to. I might just date them all because it's funnier that way. And horrible, just absolutely horrible. They must be nuts, swinging that knife around on a train. There are too many crazy... Yeah, I know. People are chatty tonight, apparently. Ah, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. You don't want to hang out? That's rude. Anything on the TV? Uh, special... Oh, no, it's the same thing we saw earlier. Hmm. It's sunny out. If it was raining out, I'd probably go to the bathhouse. We can make coffee, we can clean, we could study. Cleaning and making coffee gives us points with Shojuro, so that's probably a good idea. Also, it gives us... I should write something. I didn't, I didn't really need the save at the moment, but thanks. Uh, it also gives us... Yeah, more SP healing items, which 30 is pretty good. But we do need to work on kindness. We also need to work on... Knowledge. Let's go see how close we are to leveling up. Ah, I should check the plan as well. Getting close. No idea. No idea. No idea. Definitely close to improving kindness. So cleaning increases kindness. Coffee increases charm. Also gives us SP healing item. Uh... Well, since we're close to leveling up kindness, let's clean. Hey. Yeah. Well then. Oh. Well, that's good you appreciate it, because I'm gonna do it either way. I need that kindness. Sorry. Oh yeah, you wanna help out, right? I mean cleaning can be fun. Do it for now. Well, not even fun, more of a good distraction when you need it. Please level up. God damn it. Hey. We have next Tuesday off too. Hey. I didn't notice the day was red until we had the like we were just there. Um hey, Captain Kids, boots boost the guts. Hmm? Oh, we can get a new book today, too, as well, then. Oh. oh, that's a lot of guts points! That was actually way more guts points than I was expecting. Morning. The board meeting is the day after tomorrow. Yeah, apparently. I wonder if Kamoshida really had a change of heart. What if we failed? Uh, that's all I've been able to think about. I mean, we have to believe? Not much else we can do. We did do what we could. I guess all I can do now is believe. Yeah, that's what I just said. But how strange. I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's because of your composure? Yeah, it could be my future max charm stat as well. We'll be able to avenge Shiho, and you won't get expelled. After break, we'll all be able to laugh together. I mean, we can laugh together right now. Me and Ryuji were hanging out yesterday. That's what I'll believe. So, library... Uh, Hi, question, everyone. probably? How you all doing? These days you're expected to know colloquial English, even its idioms that come from other languages. I want you to forget that you're Japanese during this class and make yourself believe you're a foreigner. What's important is becoming someone else. In this day and age, being able to swap your mask depending on the situation is critical talent. Thanks, I'm very good at that. How will you feel, Mr. Noah? That's like one of my defining traits in this game. Here's a question. Let's hear it. Are you a wonderkin or kind? See if you can work that answer up based on what you know. Isn't that like... Child prodigy or something like that? Are you a wonderkin? 
Well, it seems to me like we need to work out what that is so we can answer properly. My German is a little rusty. How would you even know what German is? But I'll give you a hand if I can. First off, the wonder part probably means... Wonder. Right, wonder. Something wondrous, I guess, or impressive. Next, the kin, kind part. That's probably... Like child. Huh. Let's think about this again. Oh, huh. If the kind is kindergarten, yeah, refers to uh, all the kids in it. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Kind means a child, or at least a young guy in your case. A prodigy. This is it. That's correct. I know. I was asking if you are a wonder child, in other words, a youth of uncommon talent. But I suppose if you were able to think and adapt so quickly, that proves you certainly must be. Oh, the word talent comes from the Greek, uh, talenton? A sum of money referenced in the Bible. Sure, I'll take your word for it, you're the teacher. The more skilled a servant was, the more coins they would receive from God. Their talent led to wealth. Isn't that just pay? You know what, sure. Yeah, I am I'm extremely smart. Bow down before me. Just really hope you level up there. The English word talent didn't originally have anything to do with our modern concept of celebrity, but the ability to change one's mass dependent on the situation is surely a talent given to one by God. It's not far off calling people who create uh, react to things on the spot and on the spot on TV talents. The talent of changing mass, does that make us all wonder thieves? Good one, Mor Morgana. Good one, I guess. I got an IM! Oh, the medicine! Before we do that, let's actually go to the library first. And swap out books. Hi. What would you like? I would like a new book. Thank you. What would you like? Your voice. God, you sound so familiar. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Here. Hmm. You're mumbling. I've already read your mumbles, though. How about you? Hmm? Uh, student council president? Yeah. Nah, she's not that intimidating. Oh, sure enough. Okay, let's, I guess, check out and see what everyone else is doing. So, Dr. Death. Job seven seven. Oh, is that the convenience store? And then they're studying. We'll hang out with Doctor Death. Is that the only person we can hang out with today? The answer will not surprise you. It's yes. I made some enhancements to the medicine from the other day. I think it's ready. You want to come over and test it out? I didn't put anything dangerous in it, so you should be okay. And bond will be stronger. So yeah, let's go. Good answer. I'll have y'all have to live up to your expectations. Okay, I'll see you at the clinic. Sure. Hmm. Here you go. The effects should be instant this time. It's nice and yellow. That looks horrible. Let's see. Eyes are focused. Look this way. One, two, three, four. Nothing yet, huh? The inside of my mouth feels like it's burning, and my nose is itchy. Oh, oh, there it is. The inhibitory effect is just what the ha uh, just as I hope happened. Wait, what? Just uh, you? Okay, sure. I probably screwed up reading that hardcore. Uh, your weight was the primary reason it took longer to kick in than expected. Yeah, this is what I expected from a teenager. We're making great progress. Per practice makes perfect, right? Okay, hold on tight. Once I compile all the data, we can move on. Hello, uh, Takemi uh, Medical Clinic on the internal of internal medicine. How can I help you? An emergency, huh? But we're not a designated hospital. Besides, the head physician here is Tei Takemi. Huh? Awfully rude just hanging up on a lady like that. Um... What was that about? Yeah. Oh. Oh, he basically just called the wrong number. The name of this driver was looking for a transfer location. All the designated hospitals are full. 
But to think they'd accidentally call a general practitioner must have been a new paramedic. He seemed to at least know my name, though. I've been blacklisted by a large, uh, by a larger medical community. They call me the plague due to the grave medical error I made. Um, what do you mean medical error? What do you mean? <sighs> this goes back to my old job. I used to work at a university hospital in the city. I was never actually convicted of anything, but I'm still considered a pariah in the medical industry. Does that scare you? Participating in clinical trials run by a doctor like that? I don't care. You seriously are one strange kid. I know. Well, that's fine. Being ostracized was, has enabled me to focus on my own research and development. Regardless, I look forward to working with you. I'm sure I'll be sure to add some additional medicine for you, my little guinea pig. Okay. Like literally, or yes. Okay. All right. I should check out the store next tomorrow. Hello. Hello, Doctor uh, Tekemi's uh, clinic at of uh, eternal medicine. Huh? huh? One order of teriyaki chicken. That does sound good. <laughs> Click. You all good for today? You can go home now. Come again if you're still alive. I mean, I hope it's still alive. It'd be a very short game. Take care. Goodbye. I'm probably butchering this lady's name. I've looked up a different, different pronunciations for it. So hopefully, uh, the one I chose is correct. Hey, my little guinea pig. I also, there's also a chance I'm just mispronouncing it because I'm dumb, too, so who knows. Uh, I have to talk to you about something. Uh, you haven't told anyone about my drugs, right? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, I mean, part of the deal is that you're strictly prohibited from sharing anything that happens here, so... I guess I'll leave you for now. Feels like I've been getting a lot more patients asking for drugs lately. I wonder where they keep hearing about me. It's been really bugging me. But that's all I wanted to ask, I guess. Okay, see you soon. Uh, it's not us. I mean, where did we hear it from? Oh, we heard it from freaking Sojuru, right? Ah, you're back. I am back. Uh, you probably don't want to level up, right? You got time right now? No. Okay. Hmm. No, let's not hang out with him just yet. We'll get more points, but I might want to brew... What the hell is... Oh, it's the Power Rangers! Okay, Phoenix Force. Whatever the hell they're called. Our Phoenix Rangers. Huh. <sighs> okay, so we can't... Oh, no, we can leave. But just for the city. We can make coffee. We can clean to help our kindness. We could study, because we need knowledge. We'll eventually get that, though. We can go to the bathhouse. We'll do that tomorrow, Sunday, because of the medicinal stuff. We could make... Oh, we should check the flower, you're right. We should... Uh, we could make lockpicks. Nice. Which would help. Well, we're close to leveling up kindness, so let's keep working on that. Yeah, let's begin. Oh. But I do want to stock up on coffee a little bit. Nice. That should do it for now. I mean, I'd hope so. Please level up. God damn, really? Hey. That's sad? That's just sad. Oh, you know what we need? It's Sunday, so we need to buy uh, the the soft drink, the smoothie. We need to go check out the TV. This is true. How about you? Nice. No? Okay. So I'm guessing it's not every three days like I thought it was. <laughs> Originally. Hi. What are you selling us today? Military ration kit. Okay. Comes with some useful items. Muscle workout set. Protein. That's it? Oh, okay. 
I mean, protein's good. I mean, it costs a lot. But... I don't think we need that, right? I mean, we're not really going to be going to the gym at any point for a while, if anything, so... I think this is a better choice. This one does cost a lot, so it makes me feel like it's better. But let's go with this one. Okay, so what are we doing today? Is there anyone to actually hang out with? No confidants. What did people do? They hung out with confidants. <laughs> Uh, you know, we could work a job, couldn't we? Or we could do training. Um... Oh no, confidants are here. Oh, is it only that location that... Oh. Okay, I completely misunderstood that one. Yeah. I We are in the wrong place. I completely thought that showed me all available all over the world, not... Yeah, not just the location. I'm assuming it means that it's just location-based. Like, if we do that here... Okay, never mind. I mean, relatable dog that we just ran by screaming, I'm so depressed. Hi, I'd like to pay for an overpriced smoothie. It's gonna increase my proficiency. Yeah, I have the money for it. It just, it just seems like a lot of money for one point. But it is kind of like a free one, right? I mean, I guess Sujin's kind of strict. We have both the jobs, right? What are your thoughts? Oh, what the hell? Oh, we don't have the, the head-turning uh, charm for the other one. Okay, and we can't do that one because it's nighttime. Uh, so we only have one job. I guess we could probably do that. Uh, we could check out, like, Central Street. That's where the job is, for one. But, like... Okay, so... Is it not area-based? That's weird. You don't want to level up, do you? Oh, hey. Oh, okay, so you're just actually not available. You're looking for a place to work out. Sure. Maybe it is World End. Okay. So now I'm just confused <laughs> about what actually is happening. Um, is it here? Is this where we work? Apparently I've never been here before. We should check out the items they have. Oh, welcome. We're having a huge sale on all the hut food items. Hey! Uh, working at the convenience store will cause time to pass, but in addition to receiving money, your charm will improve. What do you want to do? I want to see what you have to have. Okay, no, you don't have anything. Okay. Hi, we like to work now. Do? You raise your charm by learning how to handle customers. Do you want to? Yes, let's work. Are you? Oh, are you the one who applied for the part-time job? I'll call the manager, so please wait a moment. Nice to meet you. Oh, so you're Alex Noah. You applied for the job, right? Well, we'll be asking you to work the cash register. Please watch your co-workers to learn the ropes. Uh, I'll do my best. All right, I expect you, I expect you to do your best. I, that's what I just said. Oh, right. You'll get paid more for the days you work especially hard. I appreciate it. Well, good luck. Wow. Ah, wow, she's good. Just look at that service. We had a lot of customers today. I hope you weren't too overwhelmed. We have a campaign where you, we give extra points on any day of the month with a seven. Wait, what? We have a campaign where we give extra points on any day of the month with a seven. So the seventh, 17th? That's it? That makes sense. But I guess you're just telling me that for now, right? Because it's not the seventh today. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm, a uh, Nanami Shibuya. Wait, really? 
okay. I guess I'm your senpai. So did you did watching me give you an idea what to do? Uh, perfectly. <laughs> oh, how promising. In that case, I expect great things for you. So? I'll give you one more pointer. Remember where the bar codes are? That alone will save you a ton of time. Hmm. How about I test you while we're on the subject? Oh, no. You know cow's milk, the 777's brand? Uh, can you tell me where the barcode is? Uh, near the company logo? Yes, that's right. Oh, thank God. Is it next to the company logo? Not bad at all for a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to act like a big shot senpai. But it's a little bit of knowledge like this that uh, that help you keep your cool when it count, counts. Today. So to keep you, I know you're tired. Have a good rest on your of the rest of your day. All right. Shibuya Senpai has some great tips! Uh, special days at the convenience store. Every month, more customers will come to the shop uh, on dates that end with 7. Be, by skillfully handling these customers, you will be able to improve your charm and earn more money than usual. So work on the 7th and the 17th. Well, good work today. You learned how to be more considerate to others through, through dealing with customers. <laughs> Two charm points! Wanna head back? Yeah, let's go. Punch the clock. Thank you for that money. It's Sunday, so we are gonna go to the bathhouse, I think. Hey. Tomorrow's the board meeting. Oh shit, tomorrow is the board meeting, isn't it? Uh, don't worry, I'm sure the change of heart worked. The board meeting's tomorrow, right? We're gonna get expelled if Kamashita doesn't have a change of heart by then. I'm sure he will. He'll definitely change. It would be a real problem for us if he didn't. You're right. It's a little too early to be giving up now. To be giving up now. Guess we're gonna find out one way or the other. We just gotta brace ourselves for all the possibilities. I'm sorry I can't offer more reassurance, but he should have the change of heart. I guess, yeah. Let's just believe in that while we wait for tomorrow. Hey! Yeah, I know about the city armor, but I'm not doing that right now. And Soju doesn't want to hang out. Any crossword puzzles? No. TV? We already did that. Already checked the plant today as well. Let's go get a medicinal bath. Soothe these aching bones. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, and the vending machines are refilled tomorrow. Oh. What do you want to Yeah, do? enter the bath. I mean, I could wash those clothes, but I'll do that some other time. Uh, mugwort bath, warm me up, sure. <laughs> Just the old dude looking Aww. pissed off in the bath. Uh, it's my spirit animal. I don't even remember the last time I had a, like a bath aside from a shower. Wanna head back? Does a hot tub count as a bath? Maybe. But even that was like six years ago at this point. <sighs> this is no good. Mondays are such a drag. Why couldn't they give us day off? We have the rest of the week off starting tomorrow. Oh, the what? Really? I didn't even notice that. I know we had Tuesday off. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Speaking of, what's up with the calling card? The one that sent the the, the one sent to Kamashita? Didn't it say something about stealing his disordered desires or something weird like that? Yeah, something like that. I'm sure it's the prank. No one's ta taking it seriously. Hey, Mishima, I see you back there, dog. You have bad posture. What's with the sudden morning assembly? Oh, I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it helps. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Does that person have low blood sugar or something? Oh my god, you're such a penis. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through. But it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <sighs> I have been reborn. That is why 
I will confess everything to you all. God, the creepy dude with no eyes to the right is horrifying. Oh my god, they're actually all super creepy. Huh? Children of the corn. What's this about? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Of a teacher. Of a human being, dog. Verbally abusing students. Physically abusing my team and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he say oh, that himself? Uh, he is the worst. worst. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. <laughs> oh my god, the expression on Principal Dickhead. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. Oh, agreed. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. Seems fair. What? Did he just say that? Would kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, <laughs> please get off the stage for now. Dude, the old teacher in the background. Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, unwell. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die! You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. Yeah, I guess that would be more suffering. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh. Yeah! Position on the team? I feel so That's bad horrible. for Takamaki-san. So the rumors weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over. Return to your classes immediately. I kind of wish this, this was like possible in real life. Because I know, like, I can come off as, like, you know, pretty much kill people like that, right? Um, but this would be an extremely worse punishment. Like, horrifyingly. If you could take someone who is willing to do these sort of things or kill someone or just do other horrible things throughout life. If you could take them and reverse that feeling to make them feel like a normal human being would feel doing something horrendous like that, that would be such a good punishment for people. Just to give them a conscience when they have none, right? Oh. It is a shame that that never really happens for the most part. I know there are cases and people on like death row and stuff like that or that go to jail for a while and be like, you know, I found God and I feel horrible for what I did and everything. And all the people that I hurt, I just, you know, I'm all masses for forgiveness in the eyes of the Lord and type stuff deal. You know, I've, I've watched those documentaries before. I'm not going to lie. 90% of the time, I think those people are just lying out of their asses to try and get a lean, like a lighter sentence or something. Which sometimes works, right? Sometimes people on death row have had their sentence. No, I mean, capital punishment has been changed. Like, been frowned upon for uh, corporal punishment, not cap. Well, I think it's supposed to think. It's frowned upon for the most part in a lot of places, right? 
And I can see both sides of the argument. Trust me, you've heard me on these Let's Plays before. If, if, you, if you're new, you probably you might have not have. But you've probably heard me like going against like some of these bad characters. Like, no, let's just burn down this entire school, right? I've said that a few times. Uh, I, I understand both sides, and I actually agree with both sides of the argument in some cases. Uh, I definitely, I can, given day, I could be like, yeah, I can see why we don't want to do that. And other crimes I can see and be like, no, I can definitely see why we want to put this guy away, like, for permanently, uh, in a ending of the life sort of way. Uh, but yeah, I really, I wish this fantasy thing right here was possible. Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Absolutely was. Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? I mean, technically, it wasn't his heart. It was like a metal. Maybe because it almost got leaked. Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? <sighs> yeah. Sometimes. I wonder what happened. Who knows? But man, Kamoshida turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen to the ball? Do you think Tsuki Marasi will show up now? This is going to be a big... Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really <laughs> did change. Everyone but us. Castle of Lust sees. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? I mean, we could have killed him. Yeah? Yeah, it's gotta be. What was the other option? Get expelled? Let him continue, like, assaulting people here? No, this is for the best. But things are happening way too fast. Oh, it's been a week and a half or something like that. Huh? What the... Takamaki-san. I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew. But we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. Yeah, you shouldn't spread rumors. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Eh, yeah, I'm good. Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. Well, and he's going to jail for a while, I'm assuming. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. Straight to after school. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? I, that is true, Ryuji. You need to like quiet down a little bit when you talk about this stuff. Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. 
Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. No, uh, I'm guessing Kamoshida probably told her, right? Kamoshida's at fault for all this. Yeah! I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide. People will label her after that. Yeah, people suck. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize. Uh, I mean, it kind of seemed like you wanted to set him on fire, and uh, I was also egging you on to do it, but at the same time, it did take strength to hold back. You're so kind, Lady On. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? <laughs> Maybe for you guys. Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. Well, now that he has a conscience, yeah, that's true. I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's <laughs> all settled. We're just like, okay, never piss off on. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone. Want to check it out? Not right now. You better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, we're <laughs> that you guys are already going around. Yeah, because Ryuji, you were loud. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. I mean, that's what I wanted. What the hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. The calling cards being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm. Makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Yeah, we really don't want to be seen carrying this around. Why do we even have it here? Ooh, got a hit. Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? So it is gold. It looks bronze to me. Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. <laughs> There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass. I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. I mean, to be, to be honest, she's kind of right. Ah, damn it. You don't borrow money without intending to pay it back. I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Nah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, we could wait till Shiho gets better and bring her, her with us, but I guess that wouldn't be a team celebration, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we should save the money, but fine by me. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Like maybe. 
Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? When's that? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the fifth on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Oh, that's true, yeah. Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. You're not gonna ask any questions about that. You're just like, oh no, okay, go for it. Really? Ah, you're back. Is that gold metal real? When did it get inside his palace? No, that one is a fake. It's just a byproduct of his cognition. The real metal should still be in his possession. Uh, the Kamashita has a real one. What? You're telling me Kamashita still got the metal? Who cares? What matters is that we changed his heart. And anyway, if we had taken the real thing, that'd be stealing. <laughs> I don't think he'd, uh, he'll be proud of that metal anymore regardless. You let go of stuff pretty easy, huh? Wanna forget about my debt? That's different. 500 yen is a lot of money for a middle school, you know. Do you even still have that dolphin anyways? Dolphin? Stop digging that up! <laughs> Back in middle school, we went to, on a field trip to the aquarium, but Ruji had, uh, had to spend all his money on a souvenir, so I lent him some for the train fare. I said I'm sorry. That was for my mom. Well, I guess I can call it even after we've after all we've been through. Thank you. Anyways, we don't we don't gotta worry about selling that metal off if it's a fake. End of story. Kamashita will never be proud of that once in a lifetime gold medal ever again. Good. Depending on how you look at it. That punishment might be even worse than death for him. Uh, starting tomorrow, you'll have a lot of time off, huh? Must be nice. For me, it just means more customers and even more work. Yo. The box came for you. Oh, sweet, that was fast. Hey. Woo, woo, yay. Oh. Let's see how much those actually heal you for. So we got this. We already looked at that already. Uh, canned 10% of H uh, SP on one ally. Okay, so these are only for like outside of combat. Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's uh oh, maybe it's the break room or safe room only. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press right, like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video, so I can check out some of the content. See if you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.